Did you know that the way you sleep can significantly impact your health? We spend a third of our lives asleep, so it's no surprise that our sleeping position can have a big impact on our bodies. From our spines to our digestion, the way we sleep can either help or hurt our overall well-being. In this video, we are going to explore the most common sleeping positions and their effects on your health. We'll delve into the pros and cons of each position, giving you the knowledge you need to make informed decisions about your sleep. Whether you're a back sleeper, a side sleeper, or a stomach sleeper, understanding the impact of your preferred position can help you optimize your sleep for better health and vitality. Let's dive in. Back sleeping is often hailed as the champion of sleep positions, and for good reason. When you sleep on your back, your spine is in its most natural alignment. This can help prevent back pain and neck pain, especially if you use a pillow that provides adequate support for your neck. Think of it as giving your spine a break from the constant stress of gravity throughout the day. However, back sleeping isn't without its downsides. For those who snore or have sleep apnea, Sleeping on your back can actually worsen these conditions. When you're on your back, gravity can pull your tongue back towards your throat, obstructing your airway. If you find yourself snoring more or feeling excessively tired during the day, it might be worth considering a different sleeping position or consulting a doctor. Here's a tip for all you back sleepers. Choose a flat pillow, one that doesn't prop your head up too high. This helps maintain the natural curve of your neck and prevents strain. Remember, a well-supported spine is a happy spine. Stomach sleeping, while a favorite for some, presents a bit of a double-edged sword. On the one hand, it can actually help reduce snoring. By lying on your stomach, your airway is less likely to become obstructed, allowing for smoother breathing throughout the night. This can be a relief for both you and your partner. But here's the catch. Stomach sleeping can be tough on your spine and neck. When you sleep on your stomach, your head is turned to the side, which can put a lot of strain on your neck muscles and joints. Over time, this can lead to pain and stiffness. Additionally, the unnatural curve your spine takes while sleeping on your stomach can exacerbate lower back pain. If you're set on sleeping on your stomach, try to minimize the strain by avoiding thick pillows. A thin pillow, or even no pillow at all, can help keep your neck in a more neutral position. And remember, listen to your body. If you're waking up with aches and pains, it might be time to switch things up. Ah, side sleeping, a popular choice for many. Side sleeping, particularly on your left side, is often praised for its benefits for digestion. It allows gravity to aid the movement of waste through your digestive tract, potentially reducing issues like heartburn and constipation. However, while side sleeping can be great for your spine, it can be a bit tough on your shoulders. The pressure from your body weight can compress your shoulder joint, leading to discomfort and even numbness in your arm. This is especially true if you tend to curl up tightly in the fetal position. To mitigate this, make sure you're using a supportive pillow that fills the space between your ear and your shoulder. This helps maintain the alignment of your spine and takes pressure off your shoulder joint. You might also want to experiment with hugging a pillow to your chest, providing extra support and cushioning for your shoulder. So, we know side sleeping is good, but is there a best side? As it turns out, sleeping on your left side can be particularly beneficial for your heart. It allows for better blood flow back to the heart, which can be helpful for pregnant women as it improves circulation to the fetus. On the other hand, sleeping on your right side might not be the best choice for those with heartburn or GERD. It can relax the lower esophageal sphincter, the muscle that prevents stomach acid from flowing back up into the esophagus. This can lead to increased heartburn symptoms making for an uncomfortable night's sleep. Ultimately, the best side for you depends on your individual needs and health conditions. If you're unsure, it's always a good idea to consult with your doctor or a sleep specialist. They can help you determine the most beneficial sleeping position based on your specific circumstances. The fetal position, 
a classic for its comfort and sense of security, is how many of us instinctively prefer to sleep. Curling up in a tight ball can feel safe and soothing, like returning to the womb. And for some, it can even help alleviate snoring by opening up the airways. However, while incredibly cozy, the fetal position can take a toll on your joints. Sleeping with your knees pulled up high and your chin tucked towards your chest can restrict breathing and put stress on your hips, knees, and back. Over time, this can lead to stiffness, pain, and even exacerbate existing joint conditions. If you're a die-hard fetal position sleeper, try to stretch out a bit. Focus on extending your legs and keeping your back relatively straight. Using a body pillow or a pillow between your knees can also help support your joints and prevent strain. Remember, comfort is key, but not at the expense of your long-term health. As we've seen, the way you sleep can have a significant impact on your overall health. From your spine to your digestion and even your heart, the position you choose each night can either help or hinder your body's natural functions. The good news is that by understanding the pros and cons of each sleeping position, you can make informed choices that prioritize your well-being. Don't be afraid to experiment with different positions and pillows to find what works best for you. Remember, a good night's sleep is an investment in your health. So, choose your sleep position wisely and wake up feeling refreshed, rejuvenated, and ready to take on the day.